Hello students, I am Kasturi Kamishra. I am going to discuss with you today the various cataloging rules regarding corporate bodies. I have retired as a cataloging librarian from the US Library of Congress. As you all know, the ACR 2 is the Bible for all, all of us catalogers. It has uh, been enunciated in the year 1967 with various revisions over the year. There are various chapters in the ACR uh, 2 uh, book and uh, the chapter on corporate bodies is the chapter 24. If we were to start looking at corporate bodies, I will give you a brief definition in the ACR 2 book of corporate bodies. It says, Corporate body is an organization or a group of person that is identified by a particular name and that acts or may act as an entity. Simply said, it means that the words used in a corporate body in any book, I am illustrating here, in any book this corporate body the words is capitalized and a typical example of any corporate body are associations, institutions, business firms, non-profit enterprises, government bodies, government agencies, projects and programs, religious bodies and local church or religious groups. Some corporate bodies are subordinate to other bodies like MCRC is a subordinate body of Jamia Millia Islamia and some are ad hoc events which happen for a small uh, period of time like athletic contests, exhibitions, expeditions to various uh, mountains, fairs and festivals or even conferences which are held for a simple duration. Then now we are going to discuss what are the various salient points in corporate author structures. The f there are main four salient points in any corporate author structure. The first is the structure that is the entry of the access points in any name authority record of the corporate points. If the corporate bodies are same in name, then they are qualified by places, by their uh, institution and how to qualify is one of the aspects of the structure. Then there are two type of corporate bodies, there are general type of corporate bodies as I said earlier institutions, business organizations and there are special type of corporate bodies which are like subordinate bodies. The library of congress which was responsible for developing the ACR 2 uh, cataloging book has put up its chapters in PDF format also if you want to access the chapter on corporate bodies, these are the links which you can use on the World Wide Web. Now we will enter the chapter 24. The chapter 24 describes all the points of how to deal in transcribing the corporate bodies from a book. But it, uh, once you have to decide, one you have to decide which corporate body you want to uh, establish in your name authority record and what are the kind of corporate bodies. 
enter a work emanating from one or more corporate bodies under the heading for the appropriate corporate body. This is emanating from the rule 21.4 b. This uh, says, this gives us about 6 options of kind of corporate bodies which you will have to describe in your name authority. And what are the kind of corporate bodies? That uh, rule 21.4 b says, the corporate body has to be of an administrative nature that is dealing with the body only, its internal policies, its procedures, its officer or staff and its resources. Suppose there is a corporate body like Jamia Millia in, uh, University. Now, if uh, the uh, book is about the employees of Jamia Millia Islamia and the policies and the procedures and the uh, guidelines of admission, then the body, then the body will be entered as the main entry in your book. Similarly, in the second type of corporate body, you have to decide whether this is a legal, governmental or religious work, law or decree of administrative nature, constitution or court decision. In this provision, you have to enter the government bodies, the uh, laws like the 377 law which was passed by the government of India recently has to be uh, recorded in the name authority record after India. India is the main body and the act which was passed in the uh, parliament uh, should be entered as the subordinate body. The third type of corporate body are the record that uh, takes the collective thought of the body or the report of commissions and committee. From time to time, we find publications uh, of uh, committee reports of commissions which have been submitted to the government and these records carry uh, uh, thoughts and ideas from various uh, on various subjects. These are also uh, appropriate to be recorded as corporate bodies. The fourth type of uh, corporate body are the collective activity of any conference, its proceedings, its collected papers, expeditions or events if prominently named in the book. The book is called in cataloging terms as item in hand. Item in hand has a title page, this is a cover, this is the title page and it has in his preface given information about what is the what is the book about. If the conference has been hailed as a collective conference with papers by various corporate bodies, then the name of the conference in the book has to be recorded as the main entry in your name authority record and it qualifies as a corporate body. Similarly, if there is a pub, uh, performing group, let us say a band or a musical event happening somewhere and proceedings of that uh, recording is available and uh, you have to catalog it for the audience then the name of the event or the performing band has to be carried as the main entry in the mark records. Similarly, the uh, sixth type of corporate bodies are the cartographic materials where a group of uh, map processing uh, bodies uh, describe the content of the map, the uh, subject of the map and the purpose of the map. A principal responsibility of any corporate body is attributed to two or three bodies. The body has to be entered under the heading for the first named uh, body in the title page. Here, the title page has three given names of who are responsible for the publication of the book. The person named first in this book has to be given the main entry and the added entry has to come for the other bodies. In any conference setting, there are collaborating bodies, there are multi-governmental bodies involved there are sponsors involved and there are organizing committee involved. In this, two to three bodies appear to have joined the main body 
to make a conference successful. So, you have to carry the information about the four bodies in the same bibliographic record. When the main entry goes to the conference, all the other participating bodies have to be carried as the added entries in the bibliographic record, catalog record which the user will access. Now, we will go to the provisions in chapter 24.1 a. It says that if you enter a corporate body directly under the name by which it is predominantly identified except when the rules that follow provide of entering it under the name of a higher or related body or under the name of a government determine what is the most prominent name appearing in the book. If you have to determine the name of the book from the item in hand issued in the language it has appeared and when this condition does not apply, you have to consult various reference sources. If the name of corporate body consists or contains initials omit and include full stops and other marks of punctuation according to the predominant uses of the body. To cite an example, if we take the name authority record of Tata Energy Research Institute, the heading in the record is given to Tata Energy Research Institute because it is the most prominently named body in the book as well as it is in the common parlance, it is in the open market known as Tata Energy Research Institute. But Tata is uh, Energy Research Institute is also called as Terry. So, if you are carrying Terry as a cross reference in the name authority record, you will have to carry Terry as T E R I and write the expanded form of Terry in bracket forms. Now, we will go to the chapters of variant names in any corporate bodies. The rule number is 24.2. It says that if variant forms of name are found in items issued by the body, use the name as it appears in the chief source of information, meaning in this page. This is the chief source of information, the title page. Now, the name of Asian Library Association appears here. If Asian Library Association name also appears inside the book as ALA, then you will have to carry ALA as a cross reference in its name authority record. And if ALA is also defined in some other regional or Roman language, you have to carry that name also as a variant name as per rule 24.2 b. 24.2 d records if variant names appear in the chief source of information, use the name that is presented formally. If no name is presented formally or if all names are presented formally, use the predominant form of name. If there is no predominant name, use a brief form including a initialism a l a just as I told you earlier that would differentiate the body found in the reference sources or the official form in that order of preference. This rule also has a language connotation meaning the name of the body can also appear in any Hindi publication, in any Urdu publication, in any other Indian language or foreign language. In that case, the name which appears in that book has to be carried as a cross reference in your name authority record. And if English forms and the regional forms are available in the same book, the preferred name is always the English form. The rule 24.3a says that if name found in English and other languages, use English form in name authority record. Additions to name can be qualified and the rule for the qualifiers 
in SCR2 is 24.4 A. I will give you an example of the uh, name authority of Natya Chetana, a theatre organization based in Bhubaneswar. From the name Natya Chetana, it does not give the idea whether it is a corporate body. So, we will uh, we are qualifying Natya Chetana with organization and then we are requalifying adding a qualifying place where Natya Chetana is located. This rule 24.4 c also says that two or more bodies with the same or similar names can be qualified differently. If Natya Chetana is situated in Bangalore and uh, it is a dance organization then my name authority main entry will be Natya Chetana organization colon Bangalore India in bracket when to qualify there has to be a rationale why one should qualify any corporate body if a non government body or a government institution like a school library laboratory hospital archive museum and prison is entered directly under its own name add a qualifier if the addition assists in the understanding of the nature or the purpose of the body this means if adding a qualifier gives meaning to the name appearing in the item in hand you should always and always add a qualifier which is appropriate for that body in case of doubt do not add the qualifier but name of the place is the most common qualifier which you can always add in various bodies 24.5 c 3 rules says omit a initial word or phrase in the oriental language indicating the private character of a corporate body like series 2 c li i have given you an example of allianz frances de calcutta in this record in this record allianz frances de calcutta they is an integral part of the corporate body's name. So, it is carried in the corporate body. Has the name been the Alliance Francis de Calcutta, you would have omitted the from the main entry and only carried Alliance Francis de Calcutta. In the additions to the corporate bodies, if two or more corporate bodies lay claim to the jurisdiction over the same area, that is as with occupying power and insurgent government as a suitable designation to one or each of the government followed by the inclusive year of its existence. In the rule 24.6, this rule says that if an entity has been treated as independent state like Taiwan now is absorbed into an existing state like China and retain the same name, you have to retain the same name as part of the state into which it was absorbed. That is for Taiwan, you have to use China or if a part of an existing country becomes an independent state and retains the same name, create a heading for the new entity and retain the heading for the former entity. This means that sometimes the names change from period to period for any corporate body like the countries get divided and or countries get united into one entity. So, you have to retain both the records with the earlier and the letter name and connect them with cross references in your name authority record. Now, we will come to an important corporate body the conferences, congresses and meetings which is there in 24.7 rule. It says that omit from the name of a conference if it is an ongoing conference you have to omit the name of the uh, from the name of the conference the indication of number meaning which uh, number is that conference of is it an annual 10th conference or annual 12th conference and the frequency and the year of convocation. This is omitted only when it is an ongoing conference. Generally you have to add the name of a conference subordinately if the name of the conference is held by a 
uh, university department or an independent body like the Indian Institute of Economic Growth has its annual conference every year. The conference heading in that case has to be entered by Indian Institute of Economic Growth annual conference and you have to add the year of by the rule 24.7 B3 if the heading is for a single meeting you have to add the year and the year in which conference was held. By the rule 24.7 B4 you have to also add the name of the local place or other locations in which the conference were held. Suppose the conference was held in various locations simultaneously, then you will have to carry the first name placed along with etcetera in the main entry. I am giving you examples of two conferences which was held uh, which is annually held each year the NACLIN conference by the DELNET. The National Conference on Library and Information Science was held in Colombo in this example and 10th is the recurring year in which this conference was held. In the record in the 670 field in the mark name authority record you can find all the information where the conference was held, which was the year it was held, which is the place it was held and what was the frequency of the conference. Now to an important rule is 24.20 about the government officials who are also acting as corporate bodies. This include the head of states like the president of India. If you have to enter the president of India, you have to enter him under India which is the main jurisdiction uh, of which the president is the acting body. According to rule 24.20 B1 enter a sovereign president, other head of state or governor acting in an official capacity under the heading for the jurisdiction followed by the title of the official in English unless there is no equivalent English term. Add the inclusive year of the reign or incumbency and the name of the person in a brief form and in the language of the heading for the person. For example, the Korean president, the South Korean president has to be entered in this slide you can see under Korea South in subfield B you have to carry president and then you have to give the place where he is uh, located and the year from which he was the president of South Korea. According to the rule 24.20 E you have to enter any other official under the heading for the ministry or agency that the official represents. Suppose a secretary of ministry of environment and political science of government of Bangladesh has to be entered so in a name authority record. Then in that case the uh, government belongs to Bangladesh and the body the Ministry of Environment and uh, Pollution Science belongs to Bangladesh. So it becomes a subordinate body of the main government body Bangladesh. Now if an uh, official represents like the principal secretary of that ministry then it has to be entered as a sub subordinate body of the ministry not of Bangladesh. Similarly, if we have bodies like embassies or courts or religious body, we have to carry them as subordinate bodies entered under the various government agencies. I will give you an example of entering a corporate body which has names in full stop between the names or without full stop. Like if there is a body for example IIM Ahmedabad. Now IIM Ahmedabad is known by IIM Ahmedabad all over India. If we have to establish the name for IIM Ahmedabad, we have to take the main entry as IIM Ahmedabad and give the cross reference to Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad and then I dot I dot M dot comma Ahmedabad as another cross reference in the 
same record, but omit the full stops, do not leave a according to the provisions in 24.1 a, omit the full stops, do not leave a space between a full stop etcetera and an initial following it, meaning i dot after that you do not have to leave space, again you have to say i dot and then m dot that makes is i dot i dot m dot Ahmedabad make references from other forms of name of a corporate body as instructed in 26.3. 26.3 gives us uh, various indicators about how to give cross references in any main corporate body name authority records. According to the rule 24.13 subordinate and related bodies are also entered subordinately. There are 11 kinds of subordinate bodies according to ACR 2 uh, rule book. The first type is a name containing a term that by definition implies that a body is part of another, meaning a department, a division, a section or a branch. Meaning in Jamia Milia Islamaya, we have so many departments. So, these departments are subordinate body of the main corporate body which is the university. In the type 2 a name containing a word that normally implies administrative subordination like a committee or a commission provided that the name of a higher body is, is required for the identification of the subordinate body. If the Mehta commission appointed by the Indian government is to be recorded as a corporate body then the main entry will be India dot subfield B Mehta Commission. In the type 3 kind of corporate body a name that is general in nature or that does no more than indicate a geographic chronological or numbered or letter subdivision of a parent body. In the fourth type you have to include an agency with a name that does not convey the idea of a corporate body and does not contain the name of the government. This subordinate body will never have the name of the government in its name how it appears in the book. In that case you will have to use it as a uh, subordinate body to the main body like the type 5 of subordinate body will include a name of a university faculty, school, college, institute, laboratory that simply indicates a particular field of study like the biology laboratory. Now biology laboratory does not indicate where it is located to which place it belongs or which university's biological laboratory it is. So you have to name it after the Jamia Millia University Department of Biology biological laboratory in a array of headings in as the main entry. The type 6 of uh, subordinate bodies are the legislative bodies. If successive legislatures are numbered consequently add ordinal numbers and year or the year for that particular legislature. Let us say an act by government of India was passed in 2021. Now, if the act is revised and again passed by the parliament in 2025, then both the acts will be carried as separate name authority records with the acts carried with the ordinal number means the 10th, 11th, 12th whatever act it is and the year it was promulgated meaning 2021 or 2025. In the type 7 of the corporate body a court is recorded as a subordinate body. We have a supreme court, a higher court, the highest court. Supreme court is entered under India, but we have a high court of any state government. It is entered subordinately under the name of the state government like Orissa in bracket India subfield B high court. The type uh, 8 of the subordinate body a principal service of the armed forces of any government is recorded, meaning we have three forces like armed forces, we have air forces, we have the Indian Navy. So those bodies has to be entered subordinately under India which is the main government body. 
the main entry will look like India dot suffix B Indian Navy or Navy just Navy. In the type 9 of the subordinate body will come the head of state or the head of government meaning the president of India, meaning the chief minister of the state, meaning the governor of the state, meaning the lieutenant governor of Delhi. These particular persons represent the state or the government that is why they are subordinate, their functions are subordinate to the main body that is the reason they are going to be entered subordinately to the main body. In the type 9 kind of corporate body, a head or a state or head of the government has to be entered subordinately. In the type 10, an embassy or consulate of any government in another country also has to be entered subordinately. In type 11, the last type of subordinate body, a delegation to an international or intergovernmental body also has to be entered subordinately to any body any main body like if Indian delegation is, say, is sent to Spain on a cultural exchange program then that delegation name has to be recorded in the name authority record under India. So students we have learnt the various aspects in the corporate authority recording according to ACR 2. In the subsequent classes we are going to read more aspects, more chapters on ACR2. Thank you for your attention.